see how your day will be. Life's even better than before for you. So many women reach a stage in their lives where it seems their bodies are changing overnight with children and elderly parents and demanding jobs. It's no wonder that women don't or can't take good care of themselves. Well, Dr. Nisa Goldberg is a New York cardiologist, an author, and national spokesperson for the American Heart Association. She's here with some information about you and your gut, to put it bluntly, right? That's right. <laughs> Thanks for coming. A lot of women, your, your practice is primarily women, That's right? That's right. They come in, they complain of chest pains, and, and you say that it's not always the case. It could be something completely right. different. You know, chest pain is a pretty typical symptom of heart disease, mm -hmm. but oftentimes I see women in my office who have gone to several doctors, have totally normal tests for their heart right. but still have the chest pressure so it comes to the point well maybe it's not heart disease it could be heartburn burn heartburn instead heartburn. now one of the things that we had mentioned earlier just a few minutes ago here was stress it comes in it has a lot of symptoms you're gaining weight you're losing sleep lack of appetite back aches headaches these are not things that you should overlook Right. No, these symptoms can tell our clues that maybe something's not going so yeah. right in our body. We're looking at some food here. This is probably what most people are eating and what we probably should be eating. I'm just assuming, right? Right, but you know, when it comes to acid reflux, and I, I test, I talk to my patients, mm -hmm. and there are some recommendations. First of all, even a weight gain of five to seven pounds puts, at, puts us at, at risk, risk for acid reflux. So, I mean, like chocolate and peppermint candy, that's... Well, culprit? often it seems like... Oh, these shouldn't hurt you yeah. very much, but if you have a tendency to acid reflux mm -hmm. or, or are feeling those burning symptoms, mm -hmm. some of these foods can make it worse. Peppermints and chocolate, and what they do is they relax this little valve at the end of our esophagus mm -hmm. that prevents us from getting acid backed up. And women stomach. that are pregnant obviously deal with heart, having heartburn. Well, as women well. women who are pregnant have heartburn for two reasons. One is the level of progesterone, one of our hormones, mm -hmm. which is higher in pregnancy, so we have a healthy baby. Right. Actually relaxes this valve, and so the acid comes back up. And also, as the baby grows, it pushes up your right. stomach. Now, these are the things that we should be focusing on: high these in fiber, are, right? High fiber foods are really healthy for our gut and okay. really go a long way in terms of preventing colon cancer. Okay. And, and keep the bowels going. And also, there happen to be healthy foods for our heart. Right. And it's very important, obviously, to have a colonoscopy. At what After age? After the age it's... of 50, okay. every woman should, a man and woman should have a colonoscopy. But if you have a family history of colon cancer or have changes in your bowel movements, your doctor mm -hmm. would recommend it sooner. Dr. Nisa Goldberg, you're excellent. A lot of information in there in a short period of time. Your book, uh, The Complete Guide to Women's Health, is available now, correct? That's right. And it's pretty much a step by step guide for women. For their whole body. Body. Love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And there's still more to come.